Does plaid make you sad because you can't match it up when you're cutting or sewing? Well, today I'm gonna give you lots of tips and tricks to make sure plaid makes you happy. I'm gonna teach you how to cut and match up the plaids and sew them together. And we're gonna do this with a straight line, an angled line, and a curve. Today, I'm going to be using the Silk Dubioni, but this technique works with, well, just about any plaid. I'm gonna tackle straight lines first, and then we're gonna do an angle, and then stay tuned to the end for those curves. First thing we need to do is lay out the fabric so it's nice and straight and on the grain, and it's not all twisted. The first thing we need to do before a pattern even touches this fabric is make sure that the fabric is laid out flat and straight on the table. And we're gonna do this with an L square. So what we're going to do is take the L square in either side of it, and we're gonna lay one side along a plaid. So I'm gonna choose this light pink plaid here. So how I have it on the table, you can see that this light pink plaid is not at the edge of the ruler the entire way. So what we're going to do is take the fabric, kind of pull it down a little bit, and we're gonna make sure that it lines up with the ruler. And then lightly take your fingers and pull the fabric to flatten it out. And now we can see that that light pink line is at the very edge of the ruler all the way down. Now, before you move anything, take a look at the ruler on the other side of the L square. Now, right here, we're lined up with this light green and you can see it lines up and now it's not lining up. So where it's not lining up down here, we're just going to pull the fabric just a little bit to line it up. And then we're going to brush the fabric out to lay it nice and flat. Really a light motion when you're doing this. Oops, move the ruler. Okay, so once you think you have that nice and lined up, I want you to choose another line, you know, a few inches over, five inches over, whatever it is on your plaid. Plaids have all different measurements on them, and we want to measure again. Okay, if I go with this little cream line here, how's this little cream line looking? Is it lining up with my L square? Do I need to move it at all? Just a touch. And then we're going to take a look over here at this other green line, and again, we want to move it over to the left just a smidge. And now I have that one nice and lined up. Now you can work your way through this fabric and as you get it lined up, put a weight on it so it doesn't move on you. So you want to continue to work your plaid like that for however big your pattern piece is. So if you've got a small pattern piece, you just need to do a small piece. If you've got a giant gown, well, you better get measuring. Now it's time to line up this straight edge and get two pieces of fabric that are going to match perfectly. Now, normally if this pattern's cut two, we're gonna fold the fabric and we're gonna cut two at one time, but not with plaid. Not if you want it to match up anyway. When you have a straight line that you're trying to get the plaid to follow, use the grid of the plaid with the straight line. So at the top up here, I can line it up with that light pink i need to move it just a smidge there and then over here on the left let's say i don't have a line fully i'm gonna wait that for now now i can see that this little green line is about an eighth of an inch in and i want to check this end over here and make sure that this little green line is about an eighth of an inch in and it looks like i just need to move it a little bit so we're just going to move that over a smidge now, once you have that nice and lined up with the grid of your plaid, you can go ahead and cut it out and just cut one layer. So now I'm going to cut out this rectangle. Now, when you're doing these, don't go way past the corner because you might need some of that fabric to line up perfectly for another piece. So just very carefully cut into your fabric. Okay. Now that we have one piece cut out of the plaid, we want to cut out the exact same plaid on this piece. So how are we going to do that if we can't see through our pattern? Well, we're going to use this fabric piece as the pattern piece. Okay, so if you wanted to continue this pastel plaid in between, you would just uh, make sure you take it and flip it over to line it up. So that way when you sew it, you would have that big pastel plaid there. Let's say you didn't want that pastel plaid there and you want this piece on the other side of the bodice that you're creating to be the exact same. So what we're going to do is take it and place it right sides together and you can kind of see through the plaid because it's a woven. And we're going to line up all these plaid lines. So we're going to line it up at the top. We got to line it up here at the side. And we got to line it up at the bottom. So if you need to adjust the lines in the plaid at all, remember you're really just 
brushing the fabric to move that plaid line around. Don't distort your top layer that you've already cut out. Now I would say this looks pretty good and I think I have this about lined up. So after a little bit of adjusting, I've got all of those plants nice and lined up. And now we can cut it out. And look at that, when we put them side by side, those lines line up beautifully. Now we're gonna sew up this straight line of plaid. Sounds real easy, right? Well, if you are just off a little bit in the beginning, the whole plaid can become off. Oh, what a nightmare. And if you've got like an open weave, it can move around on you a lot. So I'm gonna give you some tips to making sure that it lines up. The trick to really making this work is making sure we match this up, that we're not just matching it up over here at the edge, but at the sewing line, because within that half inch, it can move on you. So we're gonna draw in the seam allowance and make sure that we're matching it up at the sewing line. My seam allowance on here is going to be a half inch. So I'm going to use my fabric chalk marker and just draw in a half inch. There we go. And now I know exactly where I need to pin. I'm going to be pinning on that chalk line. So when I push the pin through, I'm going to push it through right on that sewing line. So it looks like we're about a 16th of an inch away from that corner of the green and the red. We're gonna push it through. Are we in the same spot on the back? I think we are, so I think we're good. So once you think you're good, just go ahead and push the rest of your pin through. And you can also make sure that it's coming through in the same spot so it is nice and lined up. Now we're gonna work our way down this line of plaid. I'm gonna go to this next little intersection here, put my pin through, lift it up. I think it's in the right area. And so now we're going to push it through. Okay, we double check, is it on the line? Looks like it's on the line. So we're just gonna continue this all the way down. You can put as many or as few pins as you like, whatever you're comfortable with. Just make sure it's on your sewing line. Now that I have this all pinned up, we are ready to sew it together. So I'm gonna start at the back. I'm gonna remove my pin because it's really close. I'm gonna make sure I'm back stitching. We're gonna follow that line that I drew on here, going nice and slow. Removing the pins before we get to them. Back stitching at the end and cut. Okay, now is the reveal. We get to take a look at it and see, did it work? I've got great news. Our plaids are matched up perfectly. Okay, that works super great. Now let's talk about how to do that on an angle. For our angle demo, we're going to create a sample where the plaids meet at a 90 degree angle. This is gonna look so cool. So follow along closely. So to prep the fabric, it's exactly the same as the other one. Use your ruler, make sure your plaid lines are nice and straight and that they all have 90 degree angles in them. So now when we place our pattern piece on here, again, you always wanna make sure it's lined up where you want that first plaid to be. So if I was doing, let's just say a skirt with a little angled line in it, I wanna make sure that the straight edge is completely following this line of the plaid here. And now if everything looks good on the angle, and then go ahead and take a look over here at your other end, is everything meeting where you want it to? And if it is, then we can go ahead and cut this piece out. The magic in lining this up is really when we cut out that second piece, but the first piece has to be on grain in order for this to work nicely. So I'm going to use my rotary cutter and cut out this little piece. Okay. Now that we have this piece cut out, we need to match this line up with this plaid, but at the sewing line. So if I just directly flip this over and place it right on that edge where I cut it out, and let's just say I hold my finger here at the half inch mark, when I flip this back, you're gonna notice those plaids don't match up. So that means we need to adjust this piece so that way when we sew it with our seam allowance that the plaids are going to match up. 
To ensure my plaids line up perfectly, I'm gonna draw out my seam allowance and I'm gonna draw it out on the right side of the fabric. For this demo, I'm going to be using a half inch seam allowance. So I'm gonna draw in my half inch and now I'm gonna take this and iron it towards the inside. So I'm gonna head over to the iron and just iron this over a half inch. So I have my seam allowance ironed under a half inch. Now, if I just take this and line up the seams here as if I was going to sew it, lining up the half inches and flip it back, you're gonna notice that these plaids do not line up. So what we need to do is find the plaid that matches. And even if I move this down, so this pink one here matches and I have my half inch overlap, you're gonna notice that these ones here don't line up. So what we need to do is find the perfect plaid match on this plaid. So you really need to check out your plaid repeat. Where does it repeat? We cut this one out right here in this repeat, which actually doesn't repeat again on this plaid till way up here. So we need to take this plaid piece and we need to pull it way up here and now when i do that notice that they match on the left they match on the right and most importantly they match on the 45 degree angle and when you have them perfectly lined up make sure you weight it and now what we're going to do is go ahead and draw right on the edge so this would be the sewing line on the other piece because i have that seam allowance folded back so these are both of my sewing lines matched up And I'm going to put a little mark where the pattern ends up and down. And now that I know exactly where those sewing lines need to meet, we can unpin or remove your weight. And we're going to fold the entire piece over so that way those sewing lines are still matching there, right? But now since that's our sewing line, we are going to have to extend a half inch seam allowance over here. And then we can use this piece here as our other template to line up to make sure we get a perfect piece. Now that I have my line here for my sewing line, we're gonna draw out our half inch for the seam allowance. And now I know that's where my cutting line is. I'm going to extend these lines that I drew out from the sides. Okay, now I can line this piece up with the sewing line. I can weight it down or pin it. And now we're gonna cut all the way around it and we're also gonna cut on our cutting line that we extended. You can cut off this little tail that's there or you can keep it, it really doesn't matter. Um, I guess I'll cut it off here in this one. And now I'm gonna cut along the cut line that I drew with my chalk. Okay, we have everything cut out here. Now that I have both pieces cut out, I still have that seam allowance turned under. You can see when I overlap these sewing line to sewing line that they are going to match up beautifully. Now we're gonna do the same thing we did with that other piece that we just cut on the straight of the grain. So we're gonna fold it over, pin it at the seam allowance and sew it down, making sure all of those lines are lined up. So I just sewed it together and you can barely even tell there's a seam there matching up these plaids on a 90 degree angle, which means that this line here is on the bias. So remember, things on the bias stretch. If you're having trouble with these seams here lining up when you're sewing, you could always stabilize the back. You could hand base that seam together first so you have more control over it and then run it through the sewing machine or draw that seam allowance and use that little pin trick that I showed you. Now, the moment you've all been waiting for, lining up those plaids with a curve. I know you've seen people with plaid pants and you look at that back seat and the plaids don't match. Oh, doesn't it drive you crazy? It drives me crazy. So we're gonna show you how to line up the plaids pretending this is the seat of a pair of pants. Okay, first things first, make sure your plaid is laid out. It's nice and flat and even. You've used your L square and it looks good. Now, where should you place your pattern? Well, wherever you want really right now, as long as you have the plaid where you want it. It's all about matching up that second one. So I am going to line it up about here. I think this looks good for my plaid in the curve. And now I'm going to cut that out. And obviously if you have a pattern you're cutting out, you want to follow the grain line, right? So you'd be lining up the grain line with one of those lines in the plaid. But since I have an arbitrary pant pattern here, we are just going to line it up with the plaid 
right where I want it. Okay. Okay, so now that we have this curved piece cut out, we need to find where it matches on this plaid fabric. So you need to find the exact same plaid vertically and horizontally so it works out real nice for you and looks good on the body. So I can see that roughly there's my plaid vertically and horizontally. Finding the perfect plaid can take a little bit depending on the repetition of your plaid. It could be way over here, it could be down here, it could be up here, it really depends. So I found my repetition down here even though I cut my last piece out up here. That's where the repeat was in the plaid. Now that I have it roughly laid out, I'm going to pin together all these little spots and move my fabric so it perfectly matches up and then we can cut it out. Now, the more precise you are lining this up right now, the easier this is going to be sewing it. So taking the extra time to line this up is definitely worth it. So now I just went through that process of lining up all the plaids all the way around the perimeter of my piece here. And now I'm going to use this as a pattern piece and cut out right next to the edge of the fabric. As you can see, these are mirrored copies of each other. They were cut out perfectly. So now when we sew them together, these plaid lines horizontally are going to line up beautifully. So I'm gonna follow my half inch sewing line. I'm gonna follow my guides for sewing curves. And I'm gonna remove those pins before I get to them. And as long as I've pinned really well in the beginning, this should work out great. And now we're done sewing that curve. Let's open it up and see how it turned out. Check it out. These are looking amazing. So our horizontal plaid lines are lining up and our vertical lines are the same distance from the seam on both sides. And because it's a curve, it's not going to lay flat. So let's take a look at the entire seam as I open it up. Look at that. Everything is beautifully lined up. We did it! We got through cutting and sewing all of our plans. We did the straight grain, we did a bias angle, and we did that curb. People are gonna be looking at that button, those plans now, because it looks so good, not because it's not lined up. So hopefully through this video, you've learned and gained some tips and tricks for cutting and sewing plans. So don't be afraid of those plaid fabrics anymore. Embrace them. Thank you so much for watching today. If you guys have any questions on cutting and matching your plans, or you have some extra tips you'd like to leave down below, please do, and I will get back to you as soon as I can. And if you enjoyed the video today, make sure you like and subscribe to Sew Anastasia. It really helps our channel out. And don't forget about the notification bell so you know when the new videos come out. And if you're already a subscriber, thank you so much for watching today. These videos are for you guys. Let's keep on sewing. And don't forget, I teach sewing classes in my design studio and online. So check those out with the links down below. And don't forget to follow me on Instagram, Facebook, and all the socials so that we can stay connected and creative together. And I'm always posting in my Instagram stories, so really make sure you check those out to get all of my updates every single day. Thank you so much for watching today. Bye!